has an obligation. He's an elected official. He said he wanted to do the job. And when he said he wanted to do the job, he knew that he was in charge of the schools, correct? Yes. Yes. When he took the job, he took an oath to take care of the citizens and residents, the children. He took that oath. He has to make hard decisions. What we ask the mayor to do and what we will continue to ask him to do is to lead. You have a man making 260, this is the superintendent, making $265,000 a year for 50,000 children. Come on, y'all, that's $6,000 each child. And the mayor says that he doesn't have control over him? What he has an obligation to do is to send him packing when he got that report card yesterday. Yes, sir. Now that's his job. Now he should have woke up this morning, <laughs> went into his office, well. and took care and handled his business. The business that we elected him to handle. $265,000 a year, 50,000 pupils, around $6,000 per pupil, what do you think that was supposed to happen by the, by the mayor this morning? What was he supposed to be doing this morning? Fine, Eugene. Okay, that's what he was supposed to be doing. As mayor, I will do it. Now you know you got to when you don't take care of your job, as with any job, go to your job and be responsible for something and don't do it and see what they're going to do to you. Only in Cleveland, only under the current and past leadership, could a man make $265,000 a year to take care of 50,000 children and still get a D, which is failing? A mayor's job for the school system is to lead. As mayor, I will lead. I will lead because I know what I'm supposed to be doing, as does he. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.